China's internet billionaires suffered the biggest losses on the list of the world's richest people on Monday, as spooked investors continued to dump stocks targeted in Beijing's widening regulatory crackdown. Meituan founder Wang Xing, NetEase chief executive Willyang Ding, Pinduoduo founder Colin Zheng Huang and Tencent chairman Pony Ma racked up a combined $13.6 billion plunge in their wealth in just one day, according to the world's real-time billionaires list. The hits to their fortunes come as a sell-off in Chinese education and technology stocks continued to spread to other sectors, with investors pondering which companies could fall under Beijing's scrutiny next. The crackdown is a continuation of previous policies of anti-monopoly and stop the disorderly expansion of capital, says Shen Meng, director of Beijing-based boutique investment bank Shonson & Co. China also wants to reduce discontent among different factions of the society and alleviate overall pressure. For example, following reports of long working hours and dangerous conditions, Regulators are now seeking to adopt safeguards to protect food delivery riders by requiring their employers to pay more in insurance and making sure the couriers earn above minimum wage. The announcement of the new guidelines sent shares of Tencent-backed food delivery giant Meituan, which is already subject to an ongoing antitrust probe, tumbling by as much as 10% in Hong Kong on Tuesday, after plunging 14% a day earlier. Tencent, which also backs online marketplace Pinduoduo, lost 5% in Hong Kong today, after regulators ordered the company to give up exclusive music copyrights. The company has already pledged to comply with the directive. In the meantime, Beijing is also seeking to alleviate some of the financial burden of parents in support of its efforts to boost declining birth rates by targeting after-school tutoring. The sector once grew rapidly as students went online to study during the pandemic, but has recently been plagued by complaints of misleading pricing and false advertising. NetEase's New York-listed online learning unit Udao lost more than 60% of its market value over the last three trading days. The US-listed shares of Chinese education firms Gautu Tekedu, Tal Education and New Oriental Education and Technology all plunged a similar amount, after regulators unveiled a sweeping set of rules over the weekend. It requires tutoring firms seeking to teach school syllabus to register as non-profits, as well as stop offering courses over weekends and during school vacations. The companies are also banned from going public or raising capital. To remain listed, they may need to spin off the businesses that are in violation of government rules, says Tommy Wang, a Hong Kong-based analyst at China Merchant Securities.